good day welcome to master academy today we are going to do the question on the board which is a question taken from a grade 9 textbook so it reads as follows water is drained from a tank at a rate of 25 liters per minute and then the first question now we are required to to answer this question it says if there is 3000 liters in the tank how long will it take till the tank is empty and then the second question says how much water was in the tank if it could be emptied in 10 minutes so the first part that we're going to do is to solve this one the first question so the rate is given to us as 25 liters per minute so this is a key point i have to note it down the rate is given as 25 liters per minute so normally the symbol that we use for liters is l so this is an l if you remember uh, just think about it from um the last time you saw a two liter coke bottle it was written to l so the l stands for liters and then um the the, the abbreviation that we use for minute or the short form for minute, we just use min there. And then remember this line, it's more like a division line. So this is this could be written as, this is still the same as 25 liters over minute. So this and that is the same thing. Now we need to write out the formula that one would use to calculate uh, the rate of any, any situation given. So now the rate formula, rate is given as quantity quantity A over quantity B. And then we need to establish as to what is quantity A and then what is quantity B. But from what we've written here, we said 25 liters over minute. We forget a bit about this number. We focus on these two letters here. Starting with the L. L is on top of the, of the division line. So therefore, L will go with quantity A. So therefore, we can say quantity A is the is liters. So quantity A, we say it's liters. So this is uh, liters. And then um, quantity B, we can say it's going to be a minute or the time. So this is going to be minutes. Or we can just say it's the time. I would go with time, I prefer time. And then this other one here, because normally liters, um, they are, when you, when you start talking about liters, you're actually me measuring the, the, the quantity or the volume of whatever shape or, or yeah, whatever situation you might have. So now we can say this one is a volume. So we can either call it, quantity A, we can either call it liters or volume, and then quantity B, we can either call it minutes or time. So now we can start solving the question now. So I'm going to rewrite this formula given to us here. Well, the one that we've written out. So the rate is going to be, instead of writing quantity A, I'm going to write volume. So it's going to be volume over, and then um, I'm going to write time instead of quantity B. Time. And then now we are going to make the, what they're looking for here, the subject of the formula. So now let's think about it. What exactly are they looking for here? So let's read this one more time. It says, if there is 3,000 liters, 3,000 liters, they're giving us the volume. They're giving us the volume. So we know the volume here that, okay, from the statement given above, volume is going to be 3,000 liters. 3,000 3, liters and then now if okay it says if there is 3,000 liters in the tank how long will it take till the uh, the tank is empty so now when they say how long they're basically looking for the time how long so here they're asking they want to know the time this part here they want to know the time so we need to work out the time that would take to actually empty this tank so they're looking for the time that's what we are looking for there. Now think about something like this. Let me just draw something that can uh, depict 
the situation here. So let's say this is the ground, and then here you have a tank. So this is a tank. It's one of those suspended tanks. And then here you have a, a tap. And then let's say, for example, they are, they are, they are emptying this tap. Water is being, um, so we can say it's being allowed to fall into the ground. So now they want to know if this is 3,000 liters. If there's 3,000 liters of water in this tank, how long would it take for this tank to be empty? So now we're going to work out, we need to make time the subject of the formula. So um, we already know how to do this, how to make time the subject of the formula. So like I said, each and every number, it's over 1. It's over 1. If I give you 2, this is the same as over 1. Uh, 100, this is the same as 100 over 1. Because the reason why we say it's the same as over 1 is because no matter what happens to this number, even if you decide to uh, divide this out on a calculator, if you take 2 divided by two, divide by 1, you'll still get 2. So each and every number divided by 1, it doesn't change. This is that number. So we're just going to introduce this one here, and then we are going to go ahead and cross multiply. So this are multiplied like that, and then these are multiplied like that. So now, after multiplying these two, it's going to be rate times time. So we're going to have rate times time, which is equal to 1 times volume, 1 times volume. Okay? So each and every number multiplied by 1, it doesn't change. It stays as that number. So this stays as the same as just volume. I repeat. If you had something, suppose you had something like a, okay, let me erase this part here. Suppose you have something like 2 times 1. 2 times 1 will remain as 2. Even if it's 25 times 1, this will remain as 25. So each and every number multiplied by 1, it never changes. So that's why here, after multiplying 1 and volume, we ended up with the volume there. So therefore, this stays the same. It's a rate times time. And then, so because we are looking for time, we have to make time the subject of the formula. Therefore, we're going to divide both sides by rate. By, by rate, so because we want to lose it. So we divide by rate, divide by rate. The reason why we are dividing by rate is because we want to get rid of this rate here in such a way that we're only left with time on its own. So now doing so, these two will cancel out and then now this will continue to be time is equals to volume over rate now that we've made time the subject of the formula we're gonna go ahead and substitute what we know we do know the volume is given to us as 3000 and we do know the rate is given to us as 25 liters per minute so moving to the next page and actually substitute what we have. So this is going to be, allow me to, to rewrite the formula. So time is equals to volume over rate. And therefore, So the volume is given as 3,000, as I already explained, 3,000 liters over, and then the rate is 25 liters per minute. Now the time is going to be 3,000 divided by 25 is equal to 120 minutes. So it's time, it has to be in minutes. Now, the reason why we're saying it has to be in minutes is because, because this, the rate on this other side was given to us in liters per minute. So if it was given as in liters per second, our time was going to be in seconds as well. If it was given as liters per hour, our time was going to be in liters per hour as well. So now this makes up the answer to the first question. We're going to move to the second question now. The second question says that 
how much water was in the tank if it could be emptied in 10 minutes now they want to know that okay if the tank is emptied in 10 minutes so the same scenario here the tank is emptied in 10 minutes now they want to know how long i mean how, um, how much water in terms of the volume was in the tank so from the initial equation that we used to calculate rate it's volume over time so now we need to make because now we know the time we're given the time so the time in this question is 10 minutes so we are actually looking for the volume so we need to make volume the subject of the formula so this now we achieve it by first cross multiplying so this i want to multiply it like that and then so when we do so we have rate times time which is equal to one times volume but like i said any number multiplied by one it doesn't change so the same thing goes with vo volume times one is still still remains as volume so we have volume here and then here when i have rate times time and then i gave you an example earlier where i said y is equals to x is the same as x is equals to y so therefore we're going to swap this around because it's the same thing so volume is going to be rate times time therefore now we substitute what we are given so we are given the rate the rate is given to us as 25 liters per minute here it is yeah? 25 liters per minute so therefore we say 25 liters per minute times the time is given to us as 10 minutes 10 minutes so now this is going to give us the volume which is going to be in liters so now we are going to say 25 times 10 which is 250 liters it is in liters because the volume in this case it's in liters so you can actually put this answer in wording and say that um so now for them to be able to empty the tank in 10 minutes it means that there was 250 liters of water so there was This brings us to the end of the video. Please subscribe if you are new to the channel and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.